everyone, it's Kim, the homeschooling Grammy. Who's ready for a flip through of All About Reading Level 2? was messaged by um, somebody that I follow on Instagram and the name of her Instagram account is the blessed bears and she was asking me if I had ever done a flip through of all about reading and I was like I looked and I thought for sure I had but you know what I never did one um, I did a review but I've never done a flip through so this is for her and for any of you all who are interested in seeing what is in All About Reading. Um, it's been a really wonderful curriculum for us. This was level two we just finished. Um, although for third grade, we are going to try something new and not because there's anything wrong with All About Reading at all whatsoever. And I may very quickly end up coming back to it again, but I just thought I would mix things up a little bit this year. So this is the teacher's manual. So when you order, you get a teacher's manu manual, you get an activity book. And I would normally be happy to show you the activity book, except for the fact that we have used it all. It was consumable and I tore out all the pages and we used them all, so I can't show you that. And it also comes with two readers. Um, the level two volume one reader, what am I? And it comes with the level two volume two queen bee. And also when you purchase, you will get um, all of these phonogram cards, which I've packed them up because I'm getting ready. Somebody actually is purchasing this program from me. So you get the phonogram cards and then you also get all of these word cards, lots and lots of word cards. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a picture probably at the end to show you the white bar that we use with the little magnets that you also use to do with this program. So now that I've gotten through all of that, let's get started by looking inside of the teacher. Okay, so let's get started. So as you see here, it's a multi-sensory program. It has step-by-step -step lesson plans and it teaches all key reading skills and it's mastery based and customizable, which it really is. Like, I just love this program. So as you look in here, it'll tell you, here's the table of contents. It will go through what each lesson will cover and it covers all kinds of things as you can see. And then I'll go ahead and I'll show you this side as well. And there's 57 lessons. So now each lesson doesn't necessarily mean per day. Um, and I will show you what I mean. This is actually the color edition. This is the newest edition that they have. But here I will show you um, the things that you will need to do this curriculum. You need the student pack, which is the activity book that I was talking to you about, the phonogram cards, which I showed you, and the word cards, some syllable tags, and stickers for the progress um, chart. Um, they also offer the interactive kit, which comes with the letter tiles, the divider cards, the, the phonogram so sounds app, the reading review box, and a tote bag. And I did get that when we first started, and it's been really handy. Like, I really love the reading review box because you have a place to put your cards and all of that kind of thing. Of course, they come with readers, um, the letter tiles, and then, of course, you'll, I've you know, we use a white magnet board to go ahead, or white, like a race type board that's magnetic. And then of course you'll need your common craft materials like scissors and stapler and baggies and you know, things like that. All right, so, and I'll also ask you in the beginning if your child is in the right level. Um, so they should have some basic understanding of these concepts for this particular level. And I'll give you a before you begin, um, a review, new teaching, and read aloud time, and the track your progress. So it really gives you an idea and the, what the teacher's manual has in it. Um, it also will have a preview of the activity book and then your progress chart. So let's get going here to one of the... 
And this is the um, Letter Tiles app, which is really, really cool. That is really nice um, because it shows the student exactly what the sound is. So that's really amazing. All right, so let's see. Let's go to lesson one. So here we go. Lesson one, it gives you your objective. This lesson reviews concepts taught in level one and teaches the closed and open syllable types. So you'll need your leap into reading readiness, pages nine through 20, and that's the activity book. So it tells you for this particular lesson what um, pages you'll need to do out of the activity book. You'll need your closed and open syllable tags. And I actually have some here in the bag so I can actually show you what they're talking about. And um, you just like put little magnets on the back for your whiteboard. And it says right on the back, open, closed syllables. And see like they're little doors. So it gives children a visual aid, which is really, really cool. All right. And it also says the progress chart. All right. And then it'll do a review, et cetera, et cetera, before you begin. So it really puts everything out there, what you need to do to teach your child, which I like. Um, and then the before you begin also, it'll explain what a closed syllable is. It'll explain what an open syllable is. So this is all stuff that you will know um, before you get going. And then at the very bottom here, you see it says review phonogram cards 1 through 32. Um, so these are the phonogram cards that you're going to work on with your child. Um, in later lessons, they will also give you word cards to work with with your child. So it'll say re review words from level one. So they're gonna, this is the activity. So it's gonna tell you what activity to do. Feed the anteater, remove pages nine through 13 from your Leap Into Reading activity book. So it's so easy, tells you exactly what to do. And it's so bright and colorful, so much fun. And then it'll give you here, it's giving you a review of plural words. So you're gonna use your whiteboard. You're gonna use all of your little magnetic, um, because all your letter tiles will have little magnets on them that you will have put on. And so you will go ahead and you will do an interactive activity with your child, um, putting the words on the whiteboard for them to read to you. Um, here you see it's reviewing all the vowel sounds, long and short. Um, right here, review the first and second syllable types. So it really, you know, goes into a review before you even get started in um, this particular book. So, okay, as you see here, see how it says new teaching. So you're still in lesson one at this point. Um, and their recommendation, I, it's like 20 minutes. So if you find that your child is getting worn out at any point, even during the review section, or you feel like they're hitting... Um, a brick wall or you know they're just struggling it's beautiful you can stop at any point so you don't have to go through a whole lesson in one sitting you really shouldn't go through a whole lesson in one sitting so here it'll introduce the closed and open syllable tags for your new teaching um, it'll also give you a complete activity sheet and then a practice fluency now we'll see what I found at least in the earlier stages when hope was really learning how to read even at the beginning of this level some of the practice fluency pages were too long for her um, because she would get really frustrated so I would break them up so we didn't do all of them all at once but she always loved the activity pages she was always right on board to do those she just absolutely loved them and then they recommend um, read a lot of time which we have read a lot of time every single day um, Sometimes we have two or three different read alouds going on, plus we have read alouds that we will do, you know, with our other subjects in our in our homeschool. And then there's a mark your progress. So my granddaughter loved this aspect of this curriculum. Um, you got to go ahead and they give you little stickers to mark your progress. And so they actually know as they're getting closer to finishing their book and Hope would get so excited. She would actually start counting. I only have this many left to go, Grammy. I only have this many left to go. Super, super exciting for her. Um, really gave her a chance to um, 
see how much progress she made and to feel good about herself. And then it goes on, like you see, on to lesson two. And the book just continues all the way through just like that. Um, and as colorful as this is, the activity book is even more colorful. Super, super fun curriculum. And just enjoy the process. Trust the process. Because I did have a time where I was, you know, like, oh my goodness, I don't know if this is working. Um, it works. Trust the process. Now I'm going to show you the inside of the reader. Okay, so here are the readers. Um, the first one is 1MI. This is the volume one of level two. So I'm just going to kind of give you an idea of how it starts out when they first start reading from this level two. And it's, I, just, I just think this is cute. To the reader, between these covers, you will find silliness and facts of every kind, especially for you. And it gives you the table of contents, of course, with all the stories that they will be reading. So here's the first story in Reader 1, Twist and Stomp. And you see how bright and colorful and fun. And you see it starts out very simply. You can win this. Trust me, you are the best, said Fox. Just super cute. So this is the first story of Level 2, Book 1. Very, very fun. And then I'll go ahead and I'll flip to the back so you can get an idea of where her, your child's reading level will be. And this is really cute too. I'm going to show it to, to show you this real quick. You did it. You made it. You got to the end. But more fun is coming, my book reading friend. So pull up a chair or the branch of a tree. You're ready for reading. Now open Queen Bee. So it tells them, okay, you are you finished this book. How exciting is this? And now we're going to move on. So I will show you the last story. Hold on. Well, anyways, you'll get an idea of the last story here. Again, so pretty, so colorful. Um, and Hope would just giggle out loud at some of these stories. That's how much fun they are. So we'll go ahead and I'll show you Queen Bee, which is the second volume. And when they finish this reader, of course, that means that they're done with the curriculum. And again, to the reader, may you be inspired to embark on your own adventures. Once again, your table of contents. And the first story is Reuben and the Secret Gift. As you can see, you know, larger paragraphs, larger words, more reading involved. But she just loved them so much. It was never a big deal to read these. She enjoyed them. She'd be giggling and laughing and you know, trying to guess what was going to happen next. It just totally kept her engaged. As you can see here, you know, real chapter book type reading going on at this point. And I'll show you at the very end. And then no more to read. It's okay. Go on to level three. So let me show you the very last story in here. Queen Bee is the very last story. And here we are. Gives you some idea of the progress that you will make in this level. Super fun book. Just love, love this curriculum. Like I said, I've decided I'm going to try something else this year. And I don't know. This is, I just love this so much. We probably will end up coming back to it at some point. I have a feeling it has levels three and four still. So, but look how cute, how beautifully illustrated, just super, super fun.